started. So at Facebook, we we believe that um, you know uh, augmented reality is is fundamentally going to change the way we we build our computing platforms. I think that uh, what we've done in the past is that you know we have we have like this thing which is like a two dimensional computing platform, right? So it's a touch screen. We've kind of uh, gotten to a pretty good uh, level there. Uh, the next uh, step in in the in that evolution is definitely getting to a point where people are able to interact uh, and and have like a computing environment in three dimension. Uh, and from that perspective, we have uh, uh, both uh, AR, which is augmented reality, which is essentially superimposing on top of your uh, three dimensional environment, and then there is uh, virtual reality, which is essentially uh, creating this sort of virtual or um, uh, you know, a completely immersive environment, right? Um, and for virtual reality, we have Oculus, and and for AR, we have Spark AR. And so today, I'm going to talk about Spark AR and and what we're trying to do here. So, why AR? I think uh, uh, Mark made, uh, made this announcement at F8 uh, a few years ago now. I think 2017, uh, and he he talked about you know like that, I think that that picture in the top kind of explains a lot, right? Um, and it's really like what I was talking about earlier, which is like taking your reality, augmenting it, um, superimposing this sort of uh, new kinds of like interactions or, or things that, that you didn't think was possible before. Uh, so you could play chess, uh, but but that's not where it stops. Uh, you know, uh, we, we feel that AR is increasingly going to um, give people the ability to, you know, have almost like superpowers, right? So because you now are enhancing your senses uh, or augmenting your senses uh, with with the full support of like what's available uh, digitally, right? And and as a computing platform, so uh, whether it's uh, audio, whether it's uh, whether it's vision, um, and then there's a lot of uh, AI that is powering all of this, uh, a lot of machine learning, um, and so we have all of that as part of like the Facebook. Um, roadmap where we're trying to push these technologies forward. Uh, so even though that's kind of like the digital chess thing is kind of like the broad vision, uh, we've decided to make the camera the first augmented reality platform, right? So we're not we're not there yet. Uh, we're still some ways away from a universally uh, wearable sort of um, AR device like a glass. Um, so what we've decided is uh, we can we can start with this. So we can start essentially with with your with your camera, uh, phone camera, right? And so we're making the camera the first augmented reality platform. Uh, billions of people have uh, this in their pocket. Uh, the the improvements in camera technologies is making it easier for us to to integrate um, our software and our platform um, into our apps and and sort of power uh, air experiences. Uh, you know, like the the kind of uh, like cameras that we see. In the future, coming out with um, sort of better depth perception uh, is only going to improve all of that, right? And so, uh, camera is the important part, but then also platform is another important part. And uh, platform is really what Spark Air is about. We want to build the platform. I think one of the interesting things about Facebook is that we've always, um, you know, we're building things for people all over the world, but we believe that for any Thing to be successful, like the content has to be created uh, by the same people who are, who are kind of consuming it, right? Like that's where the diversity of the content is. That's where the diversity of um, of, of creation is, and and so uh, that's been like ingrained in the Facebook way. Like we don't want to create the things that a small set of people creating things that everybody will consume, right? So hence our focus on Spark AR as a platform uh, and as a tool to help. Uh, developers all over the world uh, and creators all over the world um, create these sort of experiences. And I'll go a little bit into how we're thinking about it. So again, like I said, I think we're at the very beginning of this journey. <laughs> uh, I would say the dot is is a little bit more towards the right, but it's still kind of in the early stages, right? Uh, we know nowhere close to uh, universally available headborne uh, sort of uh, AR technology at this point or something that is at least you know uh, easy for people to to walk around with um 
but we, we're making our way there and it's kind of like the zigzaggy road it's not really a straight line i know we all try to draw straight lines but we kind of on this exact path and and uh, it's a very interesting journey um uh, for for us at facebook who are developing it um and and also for 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 our creators um and consumers so yeah so i'm gonna jump into like what is the process uh how are we building the platform so and i'll also sort of highlight like which specific team i i i, I sort of support here so we have the building uh, experience so you have uh spark Air studio you can build it you can test it on your mobile phone uh, with Spark Air Player. Uh, once you've created an effect, you can publish it on Hub. Um, Air Hub is the team that, 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 that uh, I'm currently supporting. Uh, and then uh, we can deploy it on, on our family of apps. And essentially, with Facebook, uh, with Instagram, with Messenger, uh, we also have Portal. We also uh, are going to add more and more surfaces. Uh, some of these are available to publicly to all third party. Uh, Messenger right now is, is is first party only, but we are looking into how to make this open as well. Um, and essentially, like then taking back all the metrics and then uh, bringing it back to Hub for 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 people to see how their effects are performing, for them to improve the quality uh, uh, of their effects or or how they're building these things. So that's really what the platform is about. Like uh, it's essentially building this whole ecosystem. Uh, of apps, of AR apps in the future, and right now we're starting with with, with these effects uh, and with the camera on your phone. So uh, I, I, for now, the platform growth is is very impressive. Uh, we've seen some very humbling numbers. Uh, we a billion is a very big number to comprehend uh, if if you were to think about it uh, in a sort of real sense. But uh, we've seen uh, uh, effects which have billions of impressions. Uh, which means that, that uh, because of the reach of our apps, uh, people all over the world are experiencing these things, and um, and things are going viral uh, all the time, and 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 there are like tons of, and I'll talk about you know uh, sort of some tips and tricks on like how to how to build for uh, for that as well. 